Alright, Fraps. There's no possible way you will crap out on me while I do while I do this thing for the third time. I'll fight the champion of the Elite Four. And my capture program is not gonna Hey look, it's Lance. Hi. Okay. Uh, we'll challenge you. And I love this song! If possible, I might, j I might uh, place in an, au an audio track. Uh, what is the upbeat audio track over this? It's a remix of the opening theme from Pokemon Red and Blue. Ah, I knew you'd start with the Gyarados. I remembered. Gyarados down. So yes, this is Lance. Cause badges love Dragonites! But yeah, Lance's team consists of a Gyarados, a Charizard, and uh, a Gyarados, a Charizard, and an Aerodactyl and three Dragonites. Why is this awesome? <laughs> Cause I have a Duke on. Now he'll th now similar to what Claire did, he'll have th he'll have three Dragonites that will have that will have the dra the three different abilities that dragons can learn outside of dragon moves and normal moves. He'll have a Dragonite that'll know a Thunder Attack, he'll have a Dragonite that'll know a Fire Attack, and he'll have a Dragonite that'll know a Water Attack. However, if you use an Ice Attack on these Dragonites and your Ice and your water, and your Ice Attack is faster than them, you will deal time six damage to their Dragonites for being Flying and Dragon type. I spew ice crystals on your face. This, unfortunately, I'm gonna kind of make Lance look like a bitch here. <laughs> Especially now that Dugong's even stronger. In fact, I might be able to sweep with Dugong. Let's make that a challenge. Dugong sweep. Except Aerodactyl might get, uh, might get the word in on me. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna do it. Ow, 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 ow. Rock attacks are super effective against ice types. And water attacks are super effective against rock types. <laughs> uh, having using lantern here would have also been been ideal because even though it's a rock, the electricity will pass through will pass through and just deal damage to the flying half of him. Now I got now I think I gotta deal with it. Oh, oh, he's gonna throw his other dragonite. Okay, it's level 50 Dragonite, which I'm still faster than, so I win. Boosh. So now I have five and a half Pokemon. I say five and a half because Dugong is below, is half dead. <laughs> that was sad. But yeah, Dugong is half dead, so I have five and a half Pokemon to kill his Charizard with. All of which have at least one, have at least one type of advantage on them, if not two. Surf. This should be over, like, now. I mean... Wow, Charizard has really blue eyes in, this, in his sprite there. That's awesome. And he dies. Henshin of Booyah, baby. Hello, champion lads. It's over. In fact, I feel happy. Like, Psycho, like, American Psycho happy. By the way, if you haven't watched American Psycho, awesome horror movie. <laughs> you have become truly powerful, Scoot. Yeah, it's called grinding. Whew, I win. Huh? Oh, come on. Oh, 
Well, thank you. I would take the interview, except you're annoying. Yeah, you're annoying. We're just gonna go with you're annoying. We do the interview after I come back out. Calm down, lady. I like how this room uses the new Barktown song. Or is this the, the surfing song? Their courageous Pokemon are also inducted. Here today, we witness the rise of a new league champion. <laughs> wow, this is a really long induction speech. Let me register you and your partners as champions. Alright, I'll put them in. And the team is not fully complete, but they're still a team. I don't think I even used Poliwhirl at all throughout this. Lantern! Mantike! I used Mantike like one, or I used Mantike like once. <laughs> Poliwhirl! Quagsire, my quote unquote starter. Dugong, the beast of this place. <laughs> AKA the Wiper of Lance. And Slowbro. Though until the newest member, not the, one of the more anticipated ones. And me, the trainer of all these water type Pokemon. Yeah, that playtime there, that's gonna be a lot of risk for training. But anyway, now you get a nice little ending cinematics thing here. Where Pokemon Dance. As Pokemon games go, this is this was a nice addition onto the first game of the series. Now, of course it was so good that they had that they did give it a remake. Much like they gave a uh, my, eh, sorry. Much like they gave Generation 1 its own remake in the Game Boy Advance. But this one got its own remake. But this, but Gold Silver got its own remake, and that should well, it should show how how awesome the game was. And you know, in my opinion, I bet these games would be a lot. I bet these Pokemon games would be pretty awesome if someone came along and decided to put them up on the. Excuse me. If someone came along and put them up, uh, put one up on the on the Wii, uh, the actual Wii system. I like it. I like it. You didn't see those along the way. Like I mean, you know, put a version on the Wii that's like, uh, but we can't go with black and white now, can we? <laughs> I suppose we have to go with some offsetting colors, probably pink and purple. Yeah, let's go with that po Pokemon Pink and Purple for the Wii. I really do think the games would sell, pre uh, have some pretty awesome, uh, would sell pretty highly if they were had some uh, home console counterparts. But alas, dreams can only be dreams. So yeah, th I mean. I think I mentioned this before, but this is the game I left off with. I didn't play Generation 3. So, it was 10 years, basically, from the end of this game. Yeah, nice little song. It was, yeah, but so, after I beat this game, it was basically 10 years until I played Pokemon again, when I start, picked up Generation 4, Pokemon Platinum. And Pokemon has always been a good series. But regardless of that, I'm going to go ahead and thank you all for joining me in this, por in this portion of Let's Play Pokemon Gold, the Watermelon Type Challenge. But, it's not over, friends. Tune in next time for Kanto.